I am cradling television to sleep. Away, away, cradle me to sleep. Cradle me to sleep so I can dream. In this tower of memory and soul, I would dance. I would dance. I would dance and I would start to scream. And from my hands, from my hands as twilight break, I will not pray for them. I will signal and embrace my hands. They comfort the wild. I am tolling. I am tolling. I am tolling. Can I hear the bell? I am tolling. I am tolling. I am tolling. You can't bank on getting shoes at the Liberty Bank. All they got is money. You can't buy shoes at the Liberty Arcade. All they got is films. You can't buy shoes from the Liberty Police. They need all their shoes to walk the beat. Can you find shoes in Liberty? Well, the Liberty shoe store is closed right now, but we'll be back for our big July 4th sale. Top prices on top quality items. That's Liberty shoes, first in war, first in peace, and first in quality and price. Muttering, muttering a shopping mall, steady curse upon my back, as lurching became a somewhat meandering manhood. I decided one day with conviction there were many ways to devour a city. So I chose to eat some newspaper. <laughs> Chiefly, morning dailies for breakfast, tabloids for lunch, evening editions of the Tannelite, a brooch though romantic, a romance of vendetta with small, steady reward. For not everyone can be a library. For not everyone can be a police force. For not everyone can be the Liberty Shoe Store. Everyone, however, can eat newspaper. And hence the importance of my case. And hence the importance of all vomit. And all who vomit. And all who vomit to come. I stand before this court. Not guilty! Not guilty! All reasons of catharsis. <laughs> and on one of these occasions, the defendant vomited a vomit in front of my shoe store, which resembled the flag of these United States of America. That the defendant's newsprint to blood ratio was five times the legal limit found pardonable by the government of this state. That the defendant's subsistent costs and loyalties should rightfully be. Has the vomit program assisted you in your life, sir? Oh, well, before I became a vomit, I, you know, I didn't have a car, and, and I didn't have shoes, and as a matter of fact, uh, I didn't have feet. I didn't have feet, and uh, I didn't have lungs. No lungs, just a little bit of guilt point. For a second out of my neck there, and uh, I, uh, I didn't have eyes. No eyes. Uh, just some brain, uh, so I'm going to fit there in my, in my head, and I just do it. It's the type of motion and light, motion and light, and I used to, I used to eat rice, <coughs> eat rice, and mop. <coughs> <coughs>
and this one, oh, all the players everywhere, everywhere. Now, I, my mom was meant to go home. I had to keep it school. They keep me in school. I the wrong. <clears throat> so what I told them? I was like, what about your TV? I was like, they didn't like it. I told them they had a documentary advertisement about their program. I said, hey, that's for me. But I'm not an actor. So, <laughs> but I'm tired we end up. Soon, you know? So I said, hey, I'm really excited about this. You know, I can get into this drama and stuff. And, you know, basically, drama is something that I have confidence in. <laughs> and it was a feeling. <laughs> what was it a feeling of? What was it a feeling of? Oh, it was, um, it was a feeling of, of a feeling when it felt like, oh, uh, it felt like it. It felt like uh, it was a feeling of not guilty for reasons of catharsis. <coughs> yes, yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, um, you know, um, we can we can place tons of pads of butter inside of Albert or I'm be gone. You know, I mean, we could place pads of butter inside Albert or I'm be gone. <laughs> Won't be you, matey. You little lass ain't there. Pick, squeak. Now, Mr. Defendant, you could please read from the vomit diary the events pertaining to that day, July 4th. I saw the film Crocodile Dundee this afternoon. I chewed down a London Times I found on the subway that morning. Not a bad tasting newspaper, but what a wonderful film. It depicts the life of a struggling Australian poet. It depicts the life of a struggling Australian poet and his pet crocodile, Dundee. I'm not certain we played a struggling Australian poet, but Lawrence Harvey was one of the usual as a crocodile. Perhaps method acting has its rewards after all. After I threw up, I went back, back to the theatre to grow up. I noticed there was a video camera on the ceiling, so I made certain comb back my hair. My teeth ached of rain, but this would not be noticed. My head could cough tears back to my spine, hold them ransom against all the kind, but this would not be noticed. My head, filled with opinions of light, met a glance of beauty with eager purse, but this will not be noticed. This will not be noticed. My liver, my liver shook the cars of a white t-shirt. Made it well, breast one sucked with wine for a night, but this will not be noticed. This will not be noticed. My bladder, emptied oranges, once picked in Seville, rolled into thin cigars and smoked between lips of green linen. Lips of green linen that advertised a soul. The surveillance of the soul. This will not be noticed. This will not be noticed. All that will be noticed will be vomit. Will be vomit. I walked away with the crocodile's limp. I had just learned from the field. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> so, what do you think of that, Josh? Thanks, sunshine. I don't give a flying fuck for you. All your same fucking shoes. Used to be a time when shoe salesmen had a little class, a little character, who asked you how your poetics were doing. Doubtless you killed them all off in a purge. You with the corpses of these dead. A black clock filled with mother of pearl is sworn in and takes the stand. There's no need that this gore can trust. Now then! Mother of pearl, do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. On my lawns and flowers, he once threw up upon. This of union, amidst the calamity of a cracked and cold wind, brought to boil on my bed, regarded once as ruined by a slide, over the tomb of flags, over dawn's open sign. By the same Burger King, and within the same projection period of USA Today, could a smiling picture of, um, let's say, Leona Helmsley 
we juxtaposed with representatives of the homeless in New York. Why? <laughs> Maybe the vile frog thrown up by Spencer's dragons, which should be here. Uh, but I should say things we say before I start getting into a beef about poetics. Yes, everyone, don't we get into a beef about poetics? Do you realize this whole country is being run by a secret society of language poets? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to watch it? No one responds. Rusty, the bailiff shrugs his shoulders to indicate the potential of humanity. Could you describe for the pleasure of this court your company's latest developments in the manufacture of high definition televised vomits? <laughs> <laughs> smell bad, the defendant. Kind of the way elections would smell if they smelled. I took one look at the vomit and smelled the defendant. Before he administered the test, I knew that his blood to print ratio was five times the legal limit and not pardonable by the governor of this state. That's right. No way the governor's going to pardon this vomit. I noticed to myself with a taciturn rumor. This vomit's going straight to the chair, and then it's really going to smell bad. You couldn't buy shoes at the Liberty Shoe Store. That much was the certain. All of Liberty stank. Everyone thinking now the vomit would smell electric. You couldn't buy cabbage. Cabbage for anyone. You can buy flowers, flowers for no one. For years before perfume could do a thing for you. Why, the sky could rain out all the perfume there ever was around silken shoulders, and literally would still stink. Quite enough for you. Just go, free, free, free from history. The defendant takes the stand. He wears an old red coat that could have been worn by Lauren Clark. I, I made nothing, nothing from vomit, nothing. As to royalties, they run the nose of some dark avatar subsisted cost. Oh, the same old snot down the trunk of tender lane. After throwing up in a path drain outside of liberty, I came across a man, a man with a village voice. I hadn't thrown up in three days, so I was eyeing his voice with enthusiasm. Let me eat your voice, I asked him. Let me eat your voice. He gave me his voice. I threw up his voice. A very good voice to throw up. Another stupid hand grenade cost by that hint off at Palestinians. The man was so impressed with my vomit. He asked me for my autograph. So I threw up on him and said, There, there, there's my autograph. But his mustache, unknown to me, was in fact a legal contract. A contract that signed away my vomit to him. Well, this legal thing made me very depressed. I walked out of the station. I went immediately to a newsstand and stole three bundles of the New York Daily News and quickly consumed them. By Grand Central Station, I sat down and vomited. I looked down the street to see that slander, Pinocchio, crime, flee. Would you please demonstrate your vomiting for the pleasure of this court? Ah, oh, no. The defendant arranges the litter paper with three piles and it consumes them. <coughs> oh. He vomits them in two areas, his body resembling a little vice and being squeezed over a cake. <coughs> First come red and white stripes. <coughs> These are followed by blue stars in the mouth. <coughs> oh. How has the vomit program assisted you in your life, Malcolm Ford? I thank you for vomit. I thank you for leading me to vomit. Thanks. <laughs> step by step, this program is you. When you cut your loss in, when that murder turns to moan, there's that breath of vomit that retains the art of the deal. I went down to Lundy Hotel with twelve dollars and two bottles of wine. What has left me, I'll never know. I thought Burton was dead. 
Isn't Burton dead? The room stack of disinfectant on a century of calm. The wine was warm by this time when I drank it down with Norm. Norm was Jack Ross's I looked out from New Jersey on my city of towers. I threw up the whole damn lot! Call up Trump! Call him to do the same! My name is Malcolm Forbes. And how is the bomb that program assisted you, young lady? Well, it was twice the set tapes, and each day you listened to a different one. Uh, the number from 1 to 11, Malcolm Forbes. I was able to have the confidence to arrange a meeting with him. After doing the pilot program, I realized, hell, you know, I can have anything and anyone. I want it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Your Honor, Your Honor, I plead the end of this case. I plead for mercy, Judge Walker. Please, please, the testimony of the ancient tape recorders is the only thing that will clear me of my crime. Please bring them on. Please. Oh, I have to warn it! All right, all right, no puking in the court. Get the body. Sentence is to be sentenced no way by by paper. 
minus five, they were minus four, one, two, four, two, two, turn, blue, we, we, we got the moon landing, we got the moon landing, we put it in the attic, we put it in the attic, by card tree, dark tree, glens of speak, by ends of laughter tree, sentence of our sentence. We read ourselves to sleep with silver tooth, X-ray the dream type of jumping rose of sound. There was time to water the sunlight with photo, photographs, mix them all with moss, drink them down for neutral core taking in the dark room by the red red light a body rose from a tank then kept laughter to our heads to stretch forever a sentence sentence a pardon us a sentence a pardon us from 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 the curve of the satellite dish it last the crow from his surveillance shine shine from outer space liberty was watched with a veil circumference stretched with a bowl of red lightning that flashed on each rim of vomit clouds dispersed for a second news from the bank robbery of Mexico. She's back a second time, time not as bold as the dish would allow all the lots of cars emerge from tropical stones while the cigar of men expire with a static turn of grain. We mix the murder channel with the laughter channel. Call it Saturn. We mix the war channel with the nature channel. Call it Mars. Call it Mars. A weather of instruments for the dish that brings seduction on the wind goes one thought of as east cast thunder into sleeves of memory war as shirts for those who can still count we for the new wives for another night of the honeymooners to raise 30 minutes of sanctuary in rooms of damage now the one to step another night of some far in rooms where damage will be dense we looked at you today you were six years old ancient stacked 